Welcome back, guys. Today I'm going to be tying up the red and white bucktail streamer. I'm going to start with a size 8 nymph wet hook in the vise and some UTC thread 210 in black. Start at the hook eye and build up a nice base down to about the barb of the hook. Snip off the tag. And now I'm going to grab a pre-cut piece of 30 pound test monofilament. Tie this in underneath. Slide it through the hook eye. Make sure the curve is going upwards. I usually cut these about two and three quarters to three inches long. And once you get to the hook eye, you can grab a piece of silver tinsel. I've got double sided gold silver so I'm going to put the silver side down so just gonna try to build a somewhat uniform thread base over the tinsel down to where I stopped the thread before and now I'm gonna work my way back up applying as much pressure as possible without breaking the thread here so that I can really bind that monofilament to the hook. Alright, now I'm going to grab the tinsel and wrap that up in even touching turns. and secure it with the thread. I like to go in front and behind of the material here. And now I'll just build up a head here and I'll tie it off. It can be tricky to to uh, tie these off so if you're not comfortable whip finishing just throw a half hitch in like this snip it off glue it up alright now I'm going to take it out of the vise and grab my size 8 streamer hook start my 210 black thread at the hook eye. And stop about the same point, the barb of the hook, or somewhere in between the point and the barb. Alright, so now I'm going to grab the back piece, now that that's dried. I'm going to tie this in on top. Just trying to make sure that it's the orientation is straight on here. Alright, so I'm going to grab a piece of tinsel here snip off a tie-in point. I'm going to use the silver side again. So I'm putting silver side down. And you can see how that little tie-in point makes it easier to catch than in a straight cut. Alright, I'm going to work my way down here. Stop at the same point I stopped previously, and then back up. All right, now wrap the tinsel. Try to get 
even touching turns. Now tie it down. Go in front and behind to secure the material. And I'll grab my scissors and snip it off. Grab my whip finish tool and that's it for the body. All right, now I'm going to snip this off because I'm done with it for now. I'm going to adjust the orientation a little bit here. Looks okay. So grab my Sally Hansen's. And this step's probably optional, but um, if you guys uh, have ever caught a big fish before you know that they can slice through uh, tinsel or thread or just about anything with those big teeth so this does help a little bit I feel whoops yeah I just I think this helps though it gives it an extra coating of of armor alright so finish that up let it dry come back I've got some black UTC thread in 70 denier, a little bit smaller. So start this at the head and snip off the tag. I've got red and I've got natural. I'm going to use the white part off the natural here. Pull out the bottom fuzzies there. Keep pulling out the random hairs that aren't the same length. If you have a hair stacker you could probably use that here but I prefer to just do it by hand alright so once you've got a small clump here sparse clump make sure your threads advanced all the way to the rear of the head and take a few loose turns over the top of it just a couple loose turns now grab your red bucktail and do the same thing And tie it in the rear of the head here and work your way towards the front with loose turns and then you can loosely move the thread backwards towards the rear of the head again to tie in the last material which is going to be a second layer of uh, white bucktail here So I have a nice straight clump that looks perfect. I'm going to tie that on top. A couple loose wraps. Now I'm just going to take some really tight turns here and finally bind all this down. Grab my scissors. Snip all that off. And you can throw some Zappa Gap or super glue or whatever you have in right now. It's a good idea to really uh, bind down the hair and keep it from pulling out. And now it's time to build up a nice head. Now keep in mind I have to paint eyes on, so that's why I'm building this head up. To a specific size. So that the eyes I paint on look... look. Okay, and once you're satisfied, uh, go ahead and whip finish. 
I'm going to use the tool here so it looks fairly neat. Just trying to fill in any imperfections and uneven spots as I whip finish here. And that looks good. Snip off the thread. Now, w what I'm going to do here is optional, but sometimes I'll add a uh, first coat of Sally Hansen's on this and let it dry. And what that's going to do is uh, flatten out the head a little more so that it's even easier to get uh, your eyes even. And, and once it's dry, grab some acrylic paint in black and white and a wooden dowel. That's the diameter of a pencil and a pencil sharpener to sharpen one end and then the other. The white end's going to be bigger than the black end. And you start with the white end, dip it in the paint, and just do that on both sides. Now you got to let it dry then come in with the black smaller diameter end and just put a dot right in the center Whoop. Yeah, I'm a little off center there but it's kinda hard to do it upside down and backwards but that's okay you can still catch a fish with a crooked eyed smell I, I guarantee it alright now the last step is to just grab some Sally Hansen's and put two coats on the head and you'll have a bulletproof head so that's it guys that's the red and white streamer uh, if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up uh, subscribe comment if you learned something please consider donating to my patreon and maybe buy me a cup of coffee alright thanks for watching guys catch you next time